Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to get the free EAP from the SP32 using the Arduino core. As target board I'm going to be using an ASP32 Fire Beetle board from DF Robot. So the code for this will be very simple, since we basically need to just uh, initialize a serial connection and then call a method to obtain the free heap and print into the serial uh, port. So I'm not going to cover in detail the code because it's, it's self-explanatory, but rather we are going to look a little bit uh, into the, the methods that we need to call and into the objects that we are going to use. So in the previous tutorial, uh, where we talked a little bit about how to restart the ASP32 from software, we have introduced this ASP variable. And as we saw, and I'm going to recap that, this AS ASP uh, variable uh, is included by default um, in our code, so basically you don't need to, to include any, um, any library uh, explicitly in order to have access to it. And as you can see here, it's an extern variable of this ASP class, and as defined here, it is called the ASP uh, in caps. So basically, uh, as you can see here, this is a class uh, defined in the Arduino core that exposes uh, some methods that are system related. So they are usually lower level uh, functionalities, uh, pretty much like getting the free heap, getting uh, the frequency of the CPU, getting the SDK version, restarting the ship. Um, so in our case, and for this tutorial, we are going to use this uh, get free heap method that as you can see here returns uh, uint32, so an assigned integer, uh, and basically it will return the value uh, of the total uh, heap available. So if we are now in the other file, let me just scroll this up, and as you can see here, uh, we are analyzing the other file, uh, but now we are going to look in the actual implementation uh, of this uh, function. So if we go here to the, let me show you, to the asp.cpp, file, which is the implementation file, basically you can see how the, that get free heap method is implemented. And as I can, uh, you can see here, it basically calls this ASP get free heap size uh, function, that is a lower level function uh, from the uh, from IDF, the, the ASP32 framework that runs under the hood uh, and the, on top of which the Arduino core is, uh, is built. Uh, so basically it calls this function. We are not going to be able to see uh, the, the implementation of this function because it's not available, the, the implementation files are not available, but if we go to the header file where this function is defined, and I have it here, uh, this ASP get free size, uh, it's very important that we read uh, this header well because it has a very important information. The first thing is that it will return obviously the heap size in bytes. So we know the unit that will be returned to us, it will be bytes uh, because it could be bits or, or any other uh, way of aggregating uh, the data, but it's bytes. So the other thing that, that um, it's important is that uh, it returns uh, the size of the available heap so the total size, uh, but as can be seen here, the return value, let me just highlight this, the return value may be larger than the maximum continuous block, contiguous block which can be allocated. So I've, I've, um, I had a, a written uh, version of this tutorial and I've received some comments of people saying that uh, if they call this uh, these, uh, method, the, the higher level uh, part of this, the, the higher level implementation of this method that would map to, to this lower level function, uh, they could not allocate that uh, size of memory. They could not uh, call a malloc, the malloc function and allocate that much size of, uh, uh, of memory. Well, the fact is, Memory um, memory can be fragmented, so you, in 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 your memory you can start uh, having uh, fragmented blocks. So instead of having contiguous available memory, a big chunk of contiguous available memory, you can have smaller chunks uh, available. So and the, this function uh, will return the sum of all the available. Uh, chunk. So you'll see how much free heap you have available, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that free heap will be uh, contiguous. Contiguous. So uh, you'll not be able. You'll probably not be able to allocate uh, the total size that is mentioned here. 
Uh, so uh, basically, this is why some people run into that problem. Uh, so this the 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 the, the usefulness of this uh, function may be questioned. But I truly believe that there's probably some use case where you can uh, where you need to know the full available heap size and not just the the maximum chunk that you can allocate. So, but basically, this this was just to show you a little bit uh, what is happening under the hood and also how important it is sometimes to look into the implementation because the Arduino core, the, the documentation that that we have uh, for the Arduino core, uh, it's not that extensive and sometimes there are these. Uh, hidden uh, uh, details and, and even some functions that are not available uh, uh, in the higher level API in the, in the Arduino um, interfaces, but they are available to be directly called uh, as IDF functions and sometimes there, there's a lot of functionality that people are not aware of and if we look a little bit uh, into the, the GitHub repository and in, into the files, we can discover a lot of interesting functionality here. So probably this is the, the most important thing that that um, that I'm, I'm probably saying in, in this post because uh, it's really important to understand this lower level stuff uh, that can be uh, that can be used uh, in in the, in our Arduino code. So basically, this is it. I, I will upload. Uh, sorry, I've already uploaded the code. So as you can see here, I have already run it, but I'll run it again. So I'm going to reset the define the device, and as you can see here, uh, it is returning to me the available bytes I have in the heap. Uh, as I said before, probably if I try to call a malloc. Uh, on this on this size, uh, it won't be able. I won't be able to allocate it because probably due to some uh, some um, uh, operating system uh, tasks, probably there's already some memory fragmentation. Uh, so this is just a total value available. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Uh, hope you have enjoyed.